All right, everybody, in this one, we have a 2012 Scion IQ. Apparently, the ESC light stays on, and also um, that there's an AC pressure code into the system. So we're just going to take and scan the vehicle, and we're going to go from there. Uh, we're in North America. We'll pick OK. We'll go on automatic scan. ABS has one code. TPMS, EMP, AC also has one code. EMO should be OK. I think those are the only codes that they wanted us to look at, which were in the ABS and the ESC. Uh, ABS and the uh, AC, sorry. Um, so what we're going to do is just scan this. We're going to save this one. Uh, mileage is 141.523. One four one five two three, perfect. We'll exit. Uh, we'll go into ABS. We'll go diagnose. Uh, and apparently they changed both rear sensors on the wheels also. Okay, so um, and the issue is still there. Uh, we are gonna go to trouble codes. Open or short in rear. Uh. In rear speed sensor left hand rear left speed sensor all right so what we're gonna do is just go to live data I'm probably gonna just jack this car up in the air and we're gonna spin the wheel uh, rear left these are the speeds uh, we are gonna go custom and what we're gonna do from there is just start the car and we're gonna back it up and move it forward and see what happens so oh, the rear left is not reading whatsoever, okay? And apparently they did change the sensors already. So um, I'm unfamiliar with the way that Toyota's ABS system works. This is gonna be the first time I actually do a Toyota. No, second time I do a Toyota in quite a while, actually. Um, so what we're gonna do, obviously, is take and look at a wiring diagram and we're gonna see well, actually, we're going to take the code and we're going to see what the code says. All right. And we'll go from there. Right, read trouble code C1408. So let's go on. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Let me get into my all data and I'll be right back. All right. So I went over the um, wiring diagram real quick. Two wire sensor, very similar to all other vehicles. And right now what I am hooked onto is the R, R plus wire. I'm gonna put the wiring diagram up for everybody. I'll turn off my light so it's not so bright for everyone. And um, yeah, so what we're gonna do right now is just cycle the key and see if we have a 12 volt pulse coming in. Come over, turn the key off, turn the key on come over and there's our 12 volt pulse as you can see the 12 volt pulse is not staying why i believe that the abs sensor is faulty on this one so now what we're going to do is take and grab a decade box and from there we're going to try to simulate the resistance of that sensor onto the circuit and see if we can't get this code to disappear all right so i'm going to go grab my decade box real quick i'm going to show you guys where i am hooked up right now actually before i do that i'll bring you guys underneath the car Okay, so I'm just hooked up right here on this white wire, sorry, uh, white wire, okay, or black wire, the white wire, and um, yeah, we're going to take and just hook up a, a decade box onto this with about 25 uh, mega ohms of resistance and see if we can't get that code to go away. All right, so I'll give you guys a photo, a video of this. Um, right now what I have is just my decade box plugged into the connector. All right, and I'm um, just going to go cycle the key and we're going to see what happens. Oh, get a cycle. Key on. And all right, we have our voltage. Let's see if we can erase that code now because that code would come back automatically. Let's get in here. But just goes to show if you start to learn a system and that system is used on every single vehicle 
it can make your diagnostics a lot simpler. Um, the vi videos I've used this on so far have been an Audi, Kia, Ford, uh, oh, sorry, the vehicles, not the... The vehicles I've used this on has been on Ford, M Mazda, Kia, Hyundai, um, you name it. Oh, I think my battery is completely low. I don't think there's enough uh, power in this thing to power up my dongle anymore. I'm gonna have to get a booster pack, give me a second. All right, now we're in business. Um, so let's get in here. I was wondering why the voltage was a little bit lower. I think it was at like six volts or something like that. Uh, we have a Scion. Let's go into the ABS now. I'm gonna cycle the key again, actually, real quick. Going North America now. Uh, we'll go system selection, we'll go ABS. We'll see if the code is now in history. And it still says current. Let's take and erase it. Uh, clear trouble code. Erase is done. Read trouble code. Oh. But we are having something on there. So that's always good. But at the same time, I don't think I'm, I'm even close to the same resistance reading as what is supposed to be on there. I think I'm at like one mega ohm. So, because that's as high as my decade box goes. Um, sorry. The race is done. Cycle the key. Move the key. Put the key. Go back into the system. Read the trouble code. Yeah, it's still there. Um, but I think that's just because I don't have, or I moved everything. No. So we have our 12 volts and our 12 volts is staying pretty uh, steady. Um, like I said, I don't have the proper uh, resistance on that. I don't have anything in the mega ohms really. So um, yeah, but just the fact that that's staying like that, I'm just gonna take and do a quick resistance reading of the sensor itself. And then I'm gonna call the sensor because if the sensor's at five ohms, well, we know from experience that ABS sensors should be in the mega ohms and they should be pretty high. All right, so, um, or was it kilo ohms? It might've been kilo ohms. I could be wrong on that. Um, let me change it to kilo ohms for a second. All right, so I have it set up at 15 kilo ohms. Um, system selection, ABS, yes. Clear trouble code, erase done, read trouble code. Still there, uh, cycle the key. Exit this. Read trouble code, current. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna read the resistance on the other sensor just to be safe, but I'm pretty sure that the issue right now is that my I don't have the right resistance reading and I can't get it. Um, so let me go take the resistance reading of both sensors and I'll bring everybody right back. All right, so let's get underneath here. I'll show you guys what I have. I have... Uh, get back in here Wah. 145 kilo ohms and somewhere around there all right um the other side over here i tested it also and we are at 19.85 uh, mega ohms so I, i'm only able to get up to about one mega ohm with this box um so i can't do much more than that so if i could i could probably get the system to work at 100 percent but Without that, you wanna know what? Uh, I can't really do it. Um, but since we are able to get our system to work properly, I guess, well, the voltage works properly, um, I'm gonna say that that sensor is faulty just because of that. And I wish I could really get up to 19 uh, mega ohms, but I don't have any sensors here big enough to simulate that. So um, yeah. That's it on this one guys this one needs a sensor arm. so uh i will be making a second part to this video for the ac system but that's it for the abs hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time